Hey crafty friends and planner babes. Today I'm going to be um, planning for um, the month of January in my classic budget planner. Um, these pages here, I'm going to kind of keep those private and to myself. I'm not going to share those, but I don't mind sharing how I plan my monthly out. So I'm going to take these pages off. Then I also have my cheat sheet here with my bills. And then I want to take this page off as well. So we'll grab these items. All right. So first, I want to write the month. This is a uh, non-dated uh, monthly, non-dated budget planner. Um, and I did a setup video of of this um, in an earlier video so I just date these myself so I'm going to write January here all right and I know I already have one unexpected spend on here um, not sure what day I paid it, but I'm going to write that in here. Let's see. Let me think about what last week was. Um, I'll fill in the date later. So um, here, um, this is sort of like your dashboard and you can write your financial goals here. This could be don't forget, or this could be, you could use this to decorate, but I'm going to leave this part blank for now and set that aside and pull out these pages. All right, and then I'm going to use this budget uh, sticker book here um, for putting down my bills this sticker book is has some really good stickers in it all right let's do i haven't done these let's do these round ones so let me grab a couple of these off all right so we have the first I have one now if I have more than one I will probably have to put two stickers on there then I have the second the seventh I don't really decorate these um, monthly pages very much if I have room then I'll add a sticker here or there uh, but it's mostly just functional for me. And I have one on the 15th. Oh, I have one on the 9th. The 22nd, I have HBO. Then the 24th, I have two bills so let me skip that one for now then i have the 26th here and then i need one for the 28th all right so for the two bills on the 24th i'm not gonna have room to put two of these stickers because it's split into the two days. So, oops, I don't think I laid that down straight. It's just staying. All right, so there I have all of my bills down. Then um, for the side here, I have a couple options. Um, we have these account balances here. Um, we have no spend challenges um, 
weekly spending. Then we have this um, these saving challenges for six weeks. So we have those. We have budget reviews. And then we have things like set a goal and accomplish by um, and a couple of quotes. So let me pull out one of these set a goal by. I'm going to pull that out and maybe a quote. Let's pull this one. Learn how to see the possibility, not the problem. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to grab my wax paper here and put them down for a second. And let's see. And... We have these auto pays. So for things like um, this bill, my Cricut, um, my HBO, those all automatically come out. So I could take these um, auto pay and like put this. And no, I don't have to actually pay this. It's going to be automatically deducted from my account. So as a reminder, I don't always do this every month, but as a reminder, and then my phone, most of my bills just automatically come out um, from my account. Then we have my dental and we have one more, which is HBO. And I pay the others. So we'll leave those. Let's see. I'm curious. I think if I cover this up and that up. I'm not sure if I want to do a no spin challenge this week. So let's just start with adding the quote. I would have room to add a no spin. Well, I don't want to add a no spin on the monthly. So let's just put the quote sticker here. And then I'll set myself a monthly goal. Let's skip to let's skip one line. I'll set myself a monthly goal in this box. There we go. So that is all there is to it. I have my monthly all set up and I could do further decorating to this, but I really like to keep my budget planner functional. Um, so let me grab my planner and we can pop these pages back in. And then I will fill in my bills. on here later. So I'm going to put that back in. Then I'm going to add this. This is just kind of my cheat sheets to write down to make sure I don't miss any bills. And then I will put my January back on here. And that is how I set up my monthly in my budget planner. And then for these um, pages here, um, I just write down the date like I um, went to Walmart today. So I'd put today's date, bill or description, I'd put Walmart and category would be groceries and the amount. And of course it was paid or on like I paid my um, several of my bills last month, but they were for this month's bills. So I will probably document that. Um, there, I have my little folder here to tuck any, um, bill, paper bills that I get in and I only get in two paper bills, but I'll tuck them in for the month 
And then on this side, you have your savings tracker. So money you're putting either into your savings um, or you could keep track of like if you put money in your savings and you have an unexpected expense, how much you took out. Um, and then you have the weekly ones too. So you, sometimes I don't use the weekly. I just do it here. Other times I will do my weekly. It just depends on how busy my week is. But that is about all I do for my budget planner. Uh, thank you for stopping by and checking this out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. And if you want to see more of this, these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.